friends, welcome back to my channel and welcome back to another episode of my WW Barbecue series. The weather is so nice. It is in the 80s. It is definitely 100% barbecue time. So tonight I'm going to share with you such a fantastic recipes. Actually, three recipes. We're going to barbecue some shrimp, some veggies, and I'm gonna show you a super fun, delicious way to barbecue your everyday russet potatoes. So if you wanna see what's in store for you in this episode of my barbecue series, all you have to do is keep watching. For tonight's barbecue series, I'm going to be making three recipes with you. So you are getting awfully spoiled and these are to die for. So let me show you first what is in our main entree. We're gonna be doing some marinated grilled shrimp. So for that, we're going to need some raw tail off shrimp. You can use whatever size you want. I prefer these big old shrimps. You're going to need some skewers, fresh basil, tomato sauce, salt, red wine vinegar, olive oil, and garlic. It also calls for cayenne pepper. I am omitting that because as you know, we are not big spicy food people. And then the next thing I'm gonna show you is how to make barbecued baked potatoes. So of course you're going to need some potatoes. You'll also need some olive oil, which was shown in the shrimp. You will need some ground black pepper, some rosemary, garlic powder, and salt, which we have salt over here as well. And then lastly, we are going to grill up some vegetables called barbecue veggies. So you're going to need some grape tomatoes, two large onions, three zucchini, we'll need some more olive oil, basil, and garlic salt. So let's get started on tonight's barbecue series dinner. So the first thing that we're gonna get started is making our sauce, our marinade for our shrimp. We'll get our shrimp drenched and marinated into the fridge while we prepare the rest of our dinner. So the first thing that we're going to add is just a little bit of salt. And I always like to put that on the bottom if I can so that I make sure that I can see how much I'm adding and also I know that it gets nice and incorporated. I am going to also add one quarter cup of olive oil. The recipe calls for a quarter cup of tomato sauce, so I'm going to add about half of this can. I also have two tablespoons of red wine vinegar, three cloves of garlic, and two tablespoons-ish of fresh chopped basil, which is so amazing. It smells so good. And then I'm just going to mix this all together. I'm going to throw my shrimp in a big Ziploc baggie, dump in this sauce, and we'll move on to getting the rest of what we're going to barbecue together while our shrimp is enjoying a nice bath in this amazing marinade. So I've added my defrosted shrimp and my marinade to a big Ziploc bag. I'm just going to mix it all together, toss this into the fridge, and then we're going to get our veggies and our potatoes ready to go. Next up, we're going to get all of our vegetables cut up and ready to go. So my grape tomatoes are good as they are. I'm going to dice up three zucchinis, two onions. We're going to throw this in a bowl, add some marinade to it, and it is ready to go on the barbecue. Easy peasy. Once you get your veggies all cut up, I'm going to add one quarter cup of olive oil. And I'm gonna mix this up with my hand, so I'm probably gonna take off my wedding ring. It's just a lot easier to mix everything that way. We're also going to add in some basil, and I want, I don't know, two to three tablespoons of basil. I do want our vegetables to have quite a lot of flavor. And then I'm also going to add in some garlic salt. And even though the recipe doesn't call for it, I think I'm gonna add in a pop of pepper, just because I like the pepper on my veggies. 
And then I'm gonna give this all a nice big mix. You just wanna make sure that you get a little bit of olive oil on all of your vegetables. So that's the only thing that you have to count points for. Um, I know it seems like a lot, but a lot of it'll cook off. So yeah, really the only thing that you need to count points for is the olive oil. For our potatoes, I have a pan coming to a boil here on the stove, and I've removed four medium-sized potatoes. We're gonna boil these until they are softened enough that we can cut them, and then we'll coat them in all of the goodness and they'll be ready to go on to the barbecue. While our potatoes are boiling, I'm gonna get our veggies ready to go on to the grill. So again, I have my marinated vegetables. I'm just going to put them on a sheet of foil and we are gonna make a foil pack. That's gonna be the best, easiest way to marinate our vegetables, get them nice and cooked on the barbecue. So you're gonna to wanna to put them in a kind of a stack on your sheet of foil here. And then you'll need a second piece you're going to put that over the top and roll up the edges so that you create a pocket and then that way all of your veggies stay nicely in your foil pouch makes it really easy to flip them around as you know if you watch my barbecue series this is the best way no matter really what vegetable other than say like a corn on the cob this is really the best way to cook vegetables makes it the easiest way so make sure everything's pinched nice and tight get your vegetables ready i'm going to throw this into the fridge while we're waiting for our potatoes while our potatoes are boiling we're also going to skewer our shrimp it's been in the fridge about a half of an hour so thanks to one of my amazing subscribers you guys let me know that if i get my skewers wet first that i won't have the burning issues so i'm just going to pull out a couple of my shrimp here and we're just going to skewer them. I'd like to get six skewers. That's kind of my plan. So I know my smart points. I've figured them out based on six. So I'm just gonna go ahead and add four shrimp to each skewer to start. And then I can always go back and add some additional shrimp on. I just wanna make sure again that I get six skewers so that my smart points are figured correctly. So there are our shrimp. I was able to get four large shrimp per skewer. And I just wanna show you, this. all of this marinade is left. I mean, there is a ton of extra marinade. So you don't have to count the points for all of the olive oil because there's barely any on each of our shrimp. So these are ready and last is the potatoes. So I just pulled my potatoes out of the pan, rinsed them with some cold water, cut them into skewers, and then to our potatoes, we're going to add some fresh ground rosemary. We also have some garlic salt, or I'm sorry, powder, not salt. I have two tablespoons of olive oil. And then we're also going to add some pepper and some salt and these are going to go directly onto the barbecue flesh side down again go ahead remove your jewelry get in with your hands mix those wedges up so that you get that olive oil on all of them and all that seasoning and then we are ready to get everything on to the barbecue so my husband just went outside to get the barbecue warming up and i'll show you kind of throughout the process of everything cooking but Yum. Cannot wait for this dinner. Cannot wait for this dinner. Everything is on the barbecue. We don't have the best lighting with the sun, but there's our veggies. There's our shrimp skewers, our potatoes. Oh, there we go. Everything is looking so good. It's just going to be a few more minutes and everything will be done. So here is our completed dinner fresh off the grill. So our veggies, they look delicious. We have our barbecued potatoes these look so good we did try a little piece here and it literally tastes like a jojo and then look at the star of the show the barbecued shrimp so i'm going to go ahead and plate up my portion and i'll give you all of the smart points but this my friends is a gourmet barbecue dinner so here is my dinner for tonight you guys i'm super excited so what i have here is my veggies the only thing you have to count points for on the veggies is the olive oil so this serving of vegetables is only two smart points each of my potatoes are two smart points a piece so that is four and then my shrimp you can have two skewers for three smart points so three for the shrimp four for the potatoes, 
two for the veggies. That's a total of nine smart points for this delicious dinner full of amazing healthy fat and delicious shrimp, potatoes, and veggies. Thank you for joining me on another episode in my WW Barbecue series. I hope you enjoyed the three recipes that I shared with you. This dinner was so freaking delicious, like so good. And those points, y'all, you guys, those points were so low. You cannot go wrong with this dinner. It feels like you are indulging, but the smart points say otherwise. So make sure if you like this video that you give it a big thumbs up. If you're new, make sure that you subscribe. Hit that little notification bell. You don't want to miss a single barbecue video or any other video for that matter. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Bye.